What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fazzy Fitness. So let's start this video with Samson Dauda. So for the past few weeks, the man who is top 3 in the world right now, he has been training at his hometown gym back in UK. And we are now at 11 weeks out mark from this year's big show. So will he go back to Oxygen Gym Kuwait to complete his Olympia prep there? Well, we will soon find out. But nevertheless, Samson Dauda has been able to make some tremendous progress even training in his hometown gym as well. I think all of us can agree, there is no one else out there who can get bigger as fast as Samson Dauda does or as fast as he did. Just think about it for a second. We have so many guys like Regan Grimes, Rafael Brandel and so many others who took more than one year off to solely focus on getting bigger, to put on more size, more thickness, more density so that they do not have any size gaps in their physique. The size that is required to be more competitive in the men's open. And even after taking years off, still they aren't even close to Samson's size or his thickness or his mass, who has been competing non-stop since the Arnold 2022. Yes, you guys heard that right. He has done every single Arnold, every single Olympia since 2022, and a number of other shows as well in the year. Like for instance, last year, he did four shows in total, the Arnold, the Olympia, Prague and Romania in the post-Olympia tour. And still he manages to get bigger from one show to the next. So what does Samson Dauda needs to do in order to win the Olympia? Because that is the biggest question at this point. Well, him coming in more conditioned than ever. That is the most important thing. Plus, the extent of the improvements in his back. That is also going to be a major factor. Because Samson's back looked pretty damn good at the Arnold Classic UK this year. And based on all the progress pictures and the videos that we have seen so far, that back will be even better at this upcoming Miss Olympia. So, can Samson Dauda shock the world in 11 weeks and beat guys like Derek and Hardy to be crowned Miss Olympia champion? Because the thing is, everyone out there believes that Samson Dauda has everything that is required to be Miss Olympia. And if he puts it all together, he is going to be Miss Olympia. Tim Bodesham is doing what Roman first did last year, compete in multiple shows throughout the year. And he somehow keeps getting better and better. He just placed second at Van Pro, third in Chicago Pro. So originally Chicago Pro was supposed to be his last show of the year. So after Chicago Pro Tim said that he is gonna sit down with his coach and decide whether to shut down the season right here or just keep on competing. So guess what? Tim just announced that he's gonna be doing Tampa Pro next, which is happening in nine days time. So this is gonna be his sixth show of the year, starting from the New York Pro. And what really gave him the confidence to keep going is the way judges gave him a fair shot, a fair look, in the last two shows. He was just one place shy away from winning his first pro show at Van Pro. So Tim in his heart truly believes that he can finally win his first pro show and that can happen this year and he can qualify for this upcoming Miss Olympia. But I have to say winning Tampa Pro, that is going to be a bigger challenge than either Van Pro or Chicago Pro. The combination here especially with a guy like John Del Rosa in this show. John is a very complete bodybuilder, so beating a guy like John, that is going to be really difficult. But we will see how it goes for Tim. And guess what, Muhammad Foda also just confirmed here in this video that he is also doing Tampa Pro up next. So for the people who are expecting that he is going to make a final minute entry at this year's Dubai Pro, then I'm afraid that isn't going to happen because the IVB changed the rules. You have to submit your name to compete at a show seven days before it is scheduled. So Dubai Pro is out of question for Fada. We're watching him go really hard on legs in the MI40 gym, which is located in Tampa. And they're hinting that this might be his last leg workout before the show. All that point towards one thing, that Fada is the one who's gonna be standing in the way of anyone who's aiming to win Tampa Pro and get their Olympia qualification there. And if Fada is able to win Tampa, then a guy like John De Rosa as well as Velat they will find themselves in a very difficult spot because Andrew Jagged, as we all know, he is doing Texas Pro and no one is touching Andrew at that show. So the next show in line after Texas, that is going to be Italy Pro. And Hunter Labrada is another top six Olympian who seems to be in such a fine form right now. So these two are going to be extremely hard to beat. I'm going to say next to impossible to beat. So Muhammad Fada, I have to say, has put himself in such a great position here. But still, I think beating a guy like John that isn't gonna be easy. He is obviously gonna be a lot better than Fada from the back. But Fada from the front is packed with so much muscle 
and he is put up together really nicely. So was anyone else also surprised on how Xiaoming Yan or Yang Lian plays Knight at this year's Chicago Pro? So the judging in Chicago Pro, especially the first call out with eight guys in there, that made absolutely no sense whatsoever. And Xiaoming was one of those guys who made the first call out. So he was in the top eight, but he plays ninth overall. So other than his washdown merch section, he looked really good. He actually looked really fantastic. So Chris Asito, his coach, later revealed that he was having some kind of digestion problems, especially in the peak week. But still, these guys managed to bring a solid look, a decent look in Chicago Pro. And also being the shortest guy in that callout of 8 guys, that hurt him a lot. And even if you look at how he was placed to the extreme right, where the light wasn't as good or as perfect as it was in the center, you can see that he might have gotten a little overlooked. So rumor is that he's also doing Tampa Pro next. But the height will always be a limiting factor for him. So hopefully he comes in with more separate apps. Because other than that, there isn't one thing that is missing from Yan Yan. He is very complete front to back, top to bottom. So let's see how he does at Tampa Pro. Next up, we have an update from Akeem Williams, the beast. Surely there are some other guys who look leaner than him for 11 weeks out. But for Akeem Williams, we all know that is a great look. So Akeem had phenomenal showings at both Arnold Classics this year. And he was the winner of Toronto Pro, where he was able to beat a much improved version of Quentin Beastwood. So Akeem's last Olympia was back in 2022, which by the way was his weakest showing, and that too in a long long time. I mean he was unable to place at that show. He was outside of the top 15. But this year, with the kind of look that he brought in UK, he certainly be looking for a top 10 finish at least. So a lot of that depends on how his back is gonna look like. Because the thing is he loses so much ground in both those back shots, especially in that back double biceps. He is so impressive from the front as well as from the side. But that back double seriously hurts him. Because the thing is he has very high light insertions. So considering that, Akeem was able to beat guys like John Rosa and James Hollingshead and Antoine. And all three of them were at their absolute best in Ohio. Especially at the finals. I think he can do really well at this upcoming Miss Olympia. Now I think we can all agree that Akeem wasn't as good in Toronto as he was at the Arm Classic Tour. So he has zero room for error at the Olympia, especially with some glaring weaknesses, and he needs to be very careful in terms of his peaking. Lastly, we have an update from a guy who isn't gonna be on the Olympia stage this year because of a shoulder injury that he suffered earlier during the year, and that is why he was unable to defend his title at Emperor Classic Spain. So Michael Crystal isn't able to lift the usual weights that he is normally lifting. So until he is fully recovered from that injury, he has been focusing a lot on his leg training. So this guy loves to train, he loves to eat clean. And you can see that he's still maintaining his trademark size, his fullness. His biceps being one of the freakiest muscle group are still looking huge. So unfortunately, what we saw from Michael Crizzo at Spain, that was like his worst look ever, ever since he turned pro back in 2022. So a lot of the people, including myself, had him as the favorite going into Spain pro because we did not know that he was carrying an injury. So if all goes well, Crizzo will be making his return to the stage in Prague Pro that is scheduled just a week after this year's Miss Olympia. So winning a show so early in the year, that will certainly allow him to work more on his back and possibly develop more weight and present a much better package at the Olympia in 2025 because so far that is his biggest weakness. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.